my name is Chris Kurzik from Athabasca Engineering Solutions and, and uh, about us, what do we do? Well, we provide equipment re-rating and, and fitness for service uh, services. We look at reliability and safety studies and we do third party compliance audits to make sure that uh, uh, your en the engineering group is following the uh, local authorities. We do training and certification and uh, we do materials and welding studies and investigations. And uh, we, do, we do some estimating and economic evaluation based upon uh, particularly mechanical static equipment issues. And uh, we've done recently some carbon footprint and emission studies. So let's continue on with our videos. Now, if we continue on, there's some things on soldered and brazed joints. Basically, they say brazed, brazed and braze welded joints. They they don't want to see that in in um, you know severe cyclic loading conditions. Then they go on to say you know there's specific requirements in th 318.2 in our search they say 31822 joint interlocks they say either mechanical or welded interlock uh, to prevent separation of any joint is not permitted further on 3182 specific requirements they talk about 31823 bell and gland joints Again, um, something I've never seen in, in uh, that kind of service. And uh, they all they say is it must be safeguarded. To me, the bell and gland joint would be, um, you know, like water lines and like very low, like, uh, you know, underground. So um, myself, I've never seen it. I'd like to hear if anybody's actually heard of this, you know, kind of connection being considered, but uh, I, I wouldn't use it for, for this application. 319 piping flexibility there's a section about 319 3 4 allowable stresses in the 2018 edition there's a, a few ways to to evaluate the you know the stresses you know it's basically using the stress intensification factors um, that are shown in appendix d for the 2018 edition and there's a warning that these tests were were based on fatigue tests from from ductile materials and that you know if you're you know very cold and you're in the in the um, below your minimum design metal temperature then these intensification factors you really can't use okay then they, they're giving you uh, well, another route is uh asme b31j and then they say you know they go on to say in their piping components are attachments not found in Appendix D, which is table uh, D300. You can, you know, use other components, but they have to be of similar geometry shown in in uh, D300. So they give a, a little bit of flexibility. But I want to note, and we'll talk more about Appendix D in, in the up further up in, in our presentations. Uh, basically, what how that works is um, a the appendix D has was been dropped in the 2020 version, and so all there's left really is ASME uh, B31J, and uh, for the evaluation. So that the third part there about piping components attachments not in that one that's gone by as well. So if you're working in 2020, you should be aware of that. But if you're modifying an existing system, right, that's 2018 or earlier, then, um, you know, there's this different set of rules. So piping supports 321, structural attachments 321.3. 
they say design attachments to minimize stress concentrations. So you don't want to see, you know, like point loads and, you know, when you have an attachment like a clamp, for example, if your, you know, your contact stresses are too high or then maybe consider, you know, using a wider clamp. I've seen, I've done that before uh, with high vibration. Tip, uh, chapter three is about materials. So we have 323.4 fluid service requirements for materials. And 323.4 b so there's specific requirements. So following the materials is uh, is not permitted for severe slick loading conditions. So they, they don't want you to use gray iron. And um, that's a similar what you'll find in, in the previous presentation for B311 and malleable iron and uh, like I said these it's no surprise a lot of clients do not want to see um, you know any of those you know very ductile material uh, sorry very um, rigid materials in in this kind of service so the more the more common would be like for example like valves cast iron valves or high silicon iron type valves they're 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 cheaper right but they're, they're not considered to be um, you know, like applicable for severe cyclic loading conditions. So we're going to go on to chapter five, fabrication, assembly, and erection. Welding and brazing, 328, 328.5, welding requirements, 328.5.6, welding. So we start to really bore down now. The welding procedures shall employ smooth and regular full penetrating uh, welds on the to the inner surface so they they want to see you know the welds ground if you have it if you know have issues about the fatigue and they have to make sure you have full penetration so that there's no you know, stress concentrations onwards we go 341 for ex the extent of required examination. So we have uh, something here under 341.32, bring your attention. There's general requirements for inspection, of, you know, very specific to this application. So you want visual RT and so on. There's a table 341.32, which is very specific requirements. 341.32 acceptance criteria for, for welds. And we're gonna look at the specific section you can see to the to the right there for severe uh, cyclic conditions. And there are two types of connections they look at. They look at a girth, a miter groove, and branch connection welds. They have a set of criteria for acceptance. And then they have the longitudinal groove welds and they have the fillet welds and uh, there's note two three and four which i'll talk about in the next slide but they correspond to these types of imperfections so for cracking you know they're looking at uh, examination methods and um, shown you know visual or radiography are typically used so so the check mark that you see over here refers to uh, indicates the examination method is generally used for evaluating this kind of imperfection. So for cracks, you can use visual or radiography for that type of service. And ellipses, which is shown here, is a method that's typically not used for doing the evaluations. Okay, so you got Cracking, lack of fusion, incomplete penetration, round indications, linear indications, undercut, uh, surface porosity, surface finish, concave, weld uh, reinforcement or integral protrusions as well. So those are all the types of methods that are looked at. And um, so let's continue to the next slide. We'll talk more about what these notes mean and what A means, okay? So let's look at 
A over here. So A means the extent of the imperfection. So they give some kind of criterion. If it's A, that means it's the most you know, rigid requirement. So uh, you can see across there, that, that, that one there in particular for cracks, if you recall the last slide, that means more. B means, you know, a cumulative length. So I mean, not quite as, you know, uh, as much as requirements. This is an example. So, I mean, in this table here, you can find the other requirements like D and J and K. But this is just sort of an example of the kinds of things that they require. So um, the branch connection. So that's note number two. So you know, branch connections includes you know pre all, all pressure containing welds and branches and fabricated laps. The longitudinal groove welds includes like straight and helical seams on on pipes. And fillet welds can be, you know, socket welded, socket and seal welds, attachment welds for slip on flanges, branch reinforcements and support. So generally that's the, the rest of them. And then, so if you do that, then there's, you know, you can see that there's less inspection because it's not there, you know, um, uh, you know, generally they're not as critical. So um, have a look at those notes. I hope that you found this presentation useful and valuable to you. This was provided by Athabasca Engineering Solutions. We'd love to hear your feedback and, and your thoughts on further videos. And we'd love to hear from you. Maybe we can do some business. Please subscribe to our channel so you don't miss a thing. Take care for now. Mm -hmm.